gonna try my first ever gold drop from solution. I've got a uh, pregnant solution of uh, gold dissolved over here. And I've got uh, three grams of sodium metabisulfate dissolved in uh, 75 milliliters of boiling water here. Now I'm a little unclear on how much sodium metabisulfite it's gonna take to do this. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully this will be enough. Give this a stir. And then pour in. Well, there's definitely something happening there. That was a dramatic color change. I'm not seeing any indication of precipitation. Let me go get a little more sodium metabolic sulfate. Okay, here we go with another addition of a. Uh, Sodium metabisulfate. Oh, that looks that looks better. It's going opaque. Oh yes, I can see the gold precipitating out. I can see the gold powder precipitating out. Okay, good. Excellent. Excellent. And by the color of that solution, I imagine there was a lot of gold in there. So, uh, I'm going to have to let this sit probably overnight to make sure all of the gold comes out of solution. Yeah. Look how opaque that is, though. Yeah, I could see a fine powder collecting on the bottom. Excellent. All right. So, in the future, I'll know about how much sodium metabisulfite I'm going to need. Excellent. I'll show you what this looks like after it settles out. Probably going to take all night. Okay, so this is after settling for a couple of hours. Sorry about the air conditioner droning in the background. It became a warm afternoon after a cool morning. I'll let it settle overnight and see if I can get everything out of solution. And then I'll test the solution with, uh, I'll give it the stannous chloride test to see if there's any gold left in it. In fact, I'm making some stannous chloride over here right now, dissolving some tin and some uh, hydrochloric acid. So we'll wait and see what it looks like tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, there's a, hey, you know, it's not a huge amount of gold, but uh, not bad for my first ever gold drop. I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Okay, it's the next day, and the gold has settled to the bottom. Nice, sort of a reddish-brown powder down there. Very finely divided gold particles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decant off the bulk of the liquid. I'm going to give it the stannous chloride test to make sure there's no gold left in solution. If there is, I'll set it aside and uh, keep it and uh, probably um, evaporate it down and concentrate it and add it to my next uh, next run when I do a gold drop. But uh, I don't know how much gold's still going to be in there. We'll see. I'll check it. And then uh, once I have the bulk of the liquid decanted off, I'm going to clean the gold powder down there a couple times, clean it with uh, water, clean it with uh, hydrochloric acid, clean it with water again. Probably clean it with water a couple times after the acid. And then uh, dry it. And then we'll see just how much powder we have. Okay, I've, I've decanted off most of the liquid. I stirred up a lot of the gold in there while I was doing it, so I'm letting it settle again. Trying to get it to settle down to the... Uh, bottom corner of the beaker there so I can pour off some more and then clean the gold. So before I move on I'm going to do the stannous chloride test and uh, see what we get. So here's a little bit of the solution in here and I'm gonna have to get see if I can do this one-handed with the phone. Get some of my stannous chloride solution and put that in there. 
And oh, look at that. Okay, we've got a pretty strong reaction. So, there's still some gold in there. Maybe some platinum too, from the color of it. So, I'm glad I didn't just throw this liquid out. I'm going to keep it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate it by evaporation and just store it. And then uh, the next time I do a gold drop, I'll, I'll add the, this to, to, the, to the other liquid. So I don't think it's concentrated right enough now to, to uh, bother with trying to do another gold drop. So I'll just, I'll just concentrate it down and store it. So I'm glad I did the stannous chloride test, though. That's, that's very useful. Let you know that, uh, hey, there's still precious metal in there. Don't throw this stuff out. So I'm going to continue once the gold settles down to the, down to the bottom there, out of, uh, out of the water column. I'm going to continue decanting it off and then cleaning it. So thanks for watching. Well, here it is. Gold from my uh, first, first gold drop. Yeah, I'm not getting rich, but it's a start. I don't even know if there's enough there to measure with my crappy gram scale, which only measures to one place past the decimal point. I may just let it accumulate and then uh, measure it once I have a decent amount. But it's a start. Everybody's got to start somewhere. And uh, I'm just happy everything went okay. Well, I am very pleasantly shocked and surprised. I didn't think I had that much gold there, but here it is, 0.4 grams. And, you know, there's probably a little bit more in here. It's very fine, and it's sticking to the side of the beaker. I'll tease it out with the uh, paintbrush. But, wow, 0.4 grams. I was not expecting that I was going to get that much gold, so, considering the amount of uh, waste I processed. So that's that's really cool. All right. So 0.4 grams. I'm going to transfer this to a, a vial and cap it so I don't lose it because it is it is just so fine. If I sneeze, it's gone all over the room. <laughs> so I'll uh, I'll get whatever else I can out of the beaker with the paintbrush and uh, then I'll transfer it to a vial and cap it. And uh, I'll probably wait until I have some more before I try melting it down and making a button. But uh, sooner or later, I'll have enough to do that. Stay tuned for future uh, future adventures in gold uh, recovery. Thanks for watching.